Okay, so we're in Wong Jokan right now. This is one of the traditional industrial areas in Hong Kong. And as you can see all around us, what we're seeing is that there's a lot of gentrification going on right now. We were hoping to be part of a movement that sort of preserves this area in many ways and not like, you know, so much in Hong Kong, uh, you know, knocking down the old building structures and building from scratch. We wanted to preserve this raw environment of industrial feel and, you know, this creative buzz with galleries and, and the, you know, car workshops right next to it. On the ground floor, actually, it's the main entrance and point of arrival for guests. And they come in and come into this space which is very much dominated by moving art. And you can see that we kept one of the original features, which is the old turntable. Um, and we will make use of it uh, for product presentations, um, uh, art exhibitions, concerts and fashion shows. It's not your regular Chinese dinner banquet space. So in 2010, uh, the government released a number of uh, policy measures aimed at uh, promoting the use of industrial buildings in Hong Kong. Uh, one of these policies was what they call uh, the wholesale conversion policy, and that basically allows owners of industrial buildings to relax the usage to non-industrial uses. So buildings have to meet certain criteria. They have to be, for example, more than 15 years old. They also need to be in industrial or zoned areas, and you can't have them converted for residential use, but commercial use is fine. So offices, retail, hotels. You know, as it was somewhat still a, a groundbreaking project for Hong Kong, you know, quite often I think the authorities did not always know exactly what to do with us in terms of the areas we had to do. A lot of the times it was just like, I guess, creating a precedent for, for new buildings such as this to, to come. Well, from an uh, investor's point of view, basically it's the cost, the overall cost. So you're looking at an office building here, you're talking about $10,000 a square foot. But an industrial building, you're talking somewhere around $6,000 a square foot. I'm not sure if everybody will adopt the exposed trunkings and pipes and concrete walls, but I'm sure we will have competition. And, you know, if people see that it works, uh, I'm sure there will be some who will copy it. One square meter, in association with Emma. Inspiring lifestyle today.